Okay, so today's Man vs Golf Hole Challenge comes from the most, one of the most iconic golf course I can remember from the past 25, 30 years. All behind me is the 18th at the Belfry. It's the Brabazon course, plenty of history, plenty of drama happened, mainly from the Ryder Cup, and uh, seeing holes like the Christy O'Connor's two iron, you've got Paul McGinley sinking win inputs, and the Torrance hole inputs, loads and loads of drama that you've seen. But today faces the challenge of the average golfer. Right, okay, it's the start of the Man vs Golf Hole Challenge at the Brabazon. I can't go any further than hole three. It's a par five. I've just been told it's only 466 yards, so that bit sounds okay. Fairly short par five. Can't get the drone up, but I'm gonna film a little bit from in the buggy and you'll see from tee to green, it's certainly second and third shots. Water is massively in play. So here goes, and the bad news is no shots either. So driver off the tee, see if we can find a bit of short stuff. Bearing in mind, first two tee shots, both been in the trees. Is that right, Steve? Only a little bit in the trees. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing like in at the deep end. Out right, bunker right, I think, or oh, on the full. Do you know what, it's probably the best drive of it today and it still found trouble, I'm in a bunker, so not a great start, but we'll see when we get there. Oh God, first drive I haven't pulled down the bloody left. Now that is out to a tee shot, why didn't I do that? Bang down the middle, running, running, running. And do man versus golf hole challenge for me. Okay, so that is the view from the top of the bunker that I'm in. So I'm sort of 10 yards behind where I'm stood now. Great golf hole, all about risk and reward. Which is all about the, that's what the Brabazon's all about really. I think I would have missed the bunker. Nah, it probably wasn't reachable in two for me anyway. But that's where we're going. But that's where I'm going. It's going to be a pitching wedge down there somewhere. Hopefully. Right, out the bunker, take that pretty safe to be honest with you. I've got 140 into the flag, I'm gonna go with 9 iron, it's all about fingers crossed now. Somewhere on that dance floor I'll be absolutely made up, but it's one of them holes where you can't stop smiling and the course isn't to be honest with you, it's a brilliant, brilliant experience. It'll be a little bit better if I can get this one on the green. Oh, be right. It's all over it. Be right. Oh, it's your. Cut it really. Uh, what is it? 10 15 yards short of the front of the green, and it was right on it, but uh, I'll take it. Right, stop for a quick chat because there isn't time to have one anywhere where we've got four ball up our backside all the way around and it's busy. Anyway, as you've seen from that, first old man versus golf hole challenge, really pleased to get that par after going in the bunker off the tee. Second, third and fourth, fifth shots, all really pleased. Quick update on the course, green's like absolute lightning. Every tee shot is kind of uh, really got to pick your way around it. There's lots of water lots of trees and not a lot of fairway at least it doesn't look that way from off the tee but 
it's in absolutely pristine conditions, just a little bit slow to get round at the minute. Finally made it to the 10th tee, fantastic front nine and don't forget I'm all square with the card after that par 5 that I made on the first hole. Problem is here, I'm on the 10th tee, there's two groups waiting at the halfway house already and the other group are just down the fairway. It's 250 to the pin and I want to have a pop at the green but I don't know, what do I do? Do I keep everybody waiting or do I play the hole in sort of uh, fairway and wedge? At least that's uh, how it's supposed to be played anyway. So just so you know, I'm just on a quick debate with three lads who are just 10 yards away. There you go, there's our audience. And believe me, that's, <laughs> that's a big enough audience to make me feel even more nervous than I already am. So we've got it as 226, 260 to the green. Do I get any shots, Steve? What's the stroke on this? Stroke index, anyone? Anyway. It doesn't matter, Andy. It's going on the green, Andy. You do get a shot, Andy. There you go. That'll relax you. Oh, looks great. It's yours right. Might be on the bank top right. I don't know. Think, fingers crossed. Positive thinking. It had too much cut, it had the carry, but Positive it didn't have... thinking. I know it does cut back there, but whether we find it on the top or not is another thing, but uh, it was worth the risk. I enjoyed it anyway. Okay, so Steve is just playing his second. He, made, he played the sensible route, he went six iron. He's got a little bit of a 90, uh, 90 yards in, playing the hole sensibly. Really pleased with the tee shot. I've got to say, I was really nervous with having uh, literally a massive crowd of three people stood alongside me. Uh, added to the pressure on camera in front of three people uh, really threw me but I was really pleased with the tee shot and hopefully I'm on that bank back right if you can see it from this shot so uh, hopefully got away with it anyway Absolutely delighted with that. I hope I'm uh, on shot there, and I think you would have got me on the backdrop there. Hit that 64 wedge that I reviewed a few weeks ago, which I've told you I loved, and I really got a little bit excited there because I thought that was going in for an eagle too. Get me breath back a little bit. It's uh, but what an iconic golf hole. I've got to say the best thing about playing the Belfry is just playing on holes where you've just seen real drama unfold in the past. And you're walking that fairway and trying them shots yourself so uh absolutely love that one it puts me one up with one left to play in a three-hole challenge God. time since we last spoke on that 10th hole I'm stood on the 18th and this is where all the drama has been in every Ryder Cup everyone remembers the shots that were played on the 18th of the Brabazon I've just got my fingers crossed I can get just a couple of decent shots out on this hole and get I'd take bogey right now stood here anything better than that absolute bonus 
back nine has been really really good played half decent to be fair and like I said just one more decent hole needed Right, apologies, I can't keep you very much updated here as to what's happened, but hopefully you got the gist of that. I've got another group waiting right behind me on every tee shot, and it's very uncomfortable to play. But I'm so delighted with the tee shot that I've hit. Absolutely out the screws for me. I'll turn it round, I got lucky in terms of where it's finished. Is that on camera? Literally a yard short of the bunker. And that's that finish that we're looking at. So, happy with it, but still plenty of work to do. I hit the ball, to be honest, you hit the drive that well, I could have gone a bit more across that angle, but that's alright saying that now. But that's where we're going, hopefully. And I'll be delighted if I can finish off, like I said, with a couple more decent shots. But that really is. And I think, think, think I watched Christy O'Connell last night. He hit a two iron into that green with an absolute grandstand packed full of people uh, and stuck it to three foot. I mean, what a feeling that must be. I've just got a yardage waiting for the green to clear. I've still got 202 yards to the flag. We couldn't have made it any longer today because the flag is right back on. It's almost like a three tier green. So I'm going, I'm playing middle of the green. I'm not playing 200 yards. I'm going to go with a five iron, which will probably for me come up about 180 hopefully and find, see if I can get middle of the green. Um, I'm quite nervous. It's a ridiculous situation. I do it all the time. I'm playing a course and uh, there's only me well Steve today and obviously the camera and I still managed to put pressure on myself they're nearly gone I was really happy with that strike. I don't know whether you caught it into the sky, but it's just leaked off just a little bit at the end and uh, fell into the bunker on the right. It didn't have the yard, as I was said, and looking at the flags, bit of wind off the left, and it's just caught it. I'd have took it anywhere on that green, but now it's into the bunker. I hope you can see that. Give myself four foot in to par the last on the 18th. The Brabbers are absolutely thrilled with that shot. Tries to take it clean off the top and worried about thinning one right through into the clubhouse, but it come off and I'm seriously delighted with that. Get it. Right, I'll clear the green because there's people coming up behind us, but um, a bit tentative on that putt to be fair. I just think I've also got a shot, it was stroking next four, so the uh, it was a five net four for the half. So uh, I managed to uh, come out on top, one up versus the Brabazon, but more importantly, just a really just a thrill to play. 10 and 18, like I keep saying, in particular, whole day, whole course has been immaculate condition, tee to green right through, honestly. Green's been superb, very, very pacey. Can't compliment you enough, superb Parkland course. And question for you, how many of you would like to see and think that the Ryder Cup should return to the Belfry? There's one for you, a bit of an answer. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, comments down below, like, uh, hit that like button and um, subscribe if you don't already. I'm gonna have a pint and uh, I'll see you soon.